Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another cook with me. We will be making this pasta dish and I love this dish because it is so versatile. You could have it for dinner, you could have it for lunch, you could serve it cold, you could serve it hot, you could add chicken or shrimp or whatever you want to it. I am making it with veggies and that's about it, but you guys could certainly add anything you want. Here's a list of the things I used and now I'm just gonna jump right in and show you how I made it. First thing I'm doing is putting some water to boil. My stove takes forever, so I just wanna get that started. I add a little bit of olive oil and salt to this for the pasta, and then I'm gonna preheat the oven to 425. Once I get that going, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my veggies. Now, here's a great tip. You could actually pre-cut your veggies whenever you have time. That way, when you make this dish, it's just much easier. Sometimes on the weekends, I'll just cut up a bunch of veggies and put them in a Ziploc bag and then I could just get them out whenever I need them and all I have to do is season them and pop them in the oven. I didn't end up using the asparagus because I just felt it was too much. I already had so many vegetables I could barely put them all in a bowl so I just used broccoli instead. And then you're also going to see that little plastic bin I keep there and that is for just garbage. That way I don't have to keep running to the garbage or the sink. I just throw everything in there and then get rid of it once I'm done. Cutting up these veggies is probably what would take you longest when you're making this dish. So if you haven't pre-cut, it's just really simple and even quicker. But I mean, I like cutting veggies. <laughs> Most people don't, so that's why I'm just pointing that out. But once you're done here, everything else that's left to do, it's super quick. Here's a good tip when you're cutting grape tomatoes, you could just lay them all down and hold them with the lid and then you could just slide the knife through them and then you just cut them at the same time. Now that my veggies are all cut up, I am making the marinade to put on them and I'm using balsamic vinegar, olive oil, fresh garlic and Italian seasonings and then some salt and pepper to taste. Once you have everything in the bowl, you're just gonna mix it all together. Now, I am adding a little more of everything because I ended up making more veggies than I needed for the dish, and that's because I just wanted to have some leftover veggies for the next day. So, if you don't wanna do that, you could just use the measurements I put at the beginning of the video. Now you're just gonna grab the marinade and put it on your veggies, and then just mix them up and make sure they're all nice and coated. Now all you have to do is get a baking sheet and put all your veggies in that. If you watched my last video, you know I put aluminum foil so I don't have to spend 10 minutes scrubbing the pan after it comes out of the oven. It just makes cleaning so much easier. You're also gonna see a couple little toes because Penelope woke up from her nap so I just brought her with me and she just hangs on her chair most of the time when I'm cooking. And now I'm just gonna pop them in the oven and that's it. Like I said before, I had extra veggies, so that's why I have two dishes. They're the same vegetables, they're not any different. I just didn't have a bigger baking sheet, so that's why I just put them in the different container. Now that the water is boiling, I'm just gonna throw in the pasta, and I am using whole wheat pasta, but you can use gluten-free or whatever you have. While the pasta is cooking, I'm just gonna open this can of white beans, and I'm gonna rinse them off. pasta is ready so I'm just gonna drain it out I never know how much pasta I actually need so I just always end up making the whole box but I don't like to waste it so I am not gonna be using it all in my dish but I did leave a little to the side and then I'll just keep it in the fridge for whenever I want it I could just eat it with some butter or with extra veggies or whatever okay once you have the pasta and the beans rinsed out just mix them together and then you are going to prep the pasta so when the veggies are done you just dump them in there and all I'm putting in here is some pesto 
and some Parmesan cheese. Also, if your pesto is a little bit thicker, you wanna leave a little bit of the starchy pasta water on the side just to loosen that up. But I actually didn't need it because my pesto is nice and soft. So just pointing that out. <laughs> All right guys, the veggies are done and ready to come out. So all I'm gonna do is take them out and put them in the bowl with the pasta and the beans and the pesto and mix them all up and you're all done. Okay, I think that's enough. So the rest I'm gonna put in this little container for my lunch tomorrow. And look at that dish, so much easier to clean. Just gotta get rid of that aluminum foil and you're all done. Okay guys, that is it for today. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. It gave you some ideas for dinner or lunch or meal prep. We had it that night hot and it was really good. The next day I made it cold with some shrimp and feta cheese and it was also delicious. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye.